Mohit knew this very well and maybe that was the reason why he had come so far to meet me, leaving his family business. The business for which he also left his studies midway. It was then that Mohit said that today there are both concerts and seminars in Pune, so you are coming with me. I got into thinking and asked Mohit why both concerts and seminars? Mohit held his head. Look, you like to read books and listen to songs. So I bought both of them. Now come with me without pretending. Mohit and I went into the room. After a while, we got ready and left for the seminar with my bullet. I was sitting behind Mohit as I refused to ride the bike. I kept asking Mohit repeatedly to reduce the speed of the bike, as I was scared. In a little while, we both reached the seminary venue. We stood outside the marigold banquets and conventions. It was a great hotel. We intertwined in the hall by showing us our pass. Mohit and I had arrived before the seminar started so we didn't get much crowd. We both sat in the front seat. The seminar started in a short while. During the seminar, I got to know about many books. So that I could remember the names of the books, I took out my phone and wrote the names of the books. It was then that I saw that a message had come from Ambika. I looked at Mohit. All his attention was on the front. So I turned on the message box. Because I didn't want Mohit to know anything about Ambika. Otherwise, where would he take the matter from? I, hiding from Mohit, saw Ambika's message, which said that it was raining here. If you feel like getting wet, come on. After reading her message, a different smile came on my face. Just then Mohit looked at me and I immediately hid the phone. He knew I was hiding something from him. But he didn't react. Because we were sitting in the front seat at the seminar. As soon as Mohit's attention shifted from me to the front. I quickly replied to Ambika, I'm coming, but you'll have to get drenched together too. That's when she came online and she replied that I won't get drenched, because I feel cold. After reading the message, I looked at Mohit and leaned to the other side. After reading her message, I had fun again and I wrote to her that I would be together, so how will it feel cold? This was something that any girl would be ashamed of when she heard it or become very badly angry. I also felt that Anbika would get angry after reading this message. I didn't receive a message for a long time. Then Mohit said, why are you entering the phone again and again? What's going on, from the phone? I quickly turned off the screen of the phone and pocketed the phone. Mohit was looking at me strangely. I also behaved in this way, as if my entire focus is on the front. As soon as the seminar was over, we left for Yes Long for the concert. I was sitting behind Mohit. By the way, there was also a concert going on at the Marigold Banquets and Conventions, but we did not get the ticket there. Sitting on the bike, I was checking the phone. Thinking that Ambika should send a message. Whenever I write her something like that, she doesn't answer. I did the same today. Then came her message, which said, no. Just then Mohit applied the brakes, and I fell completely on top of him. Mohit looked at me in fear and said, Abe. What's your intention, what's your intention? Girls don't fall like this when you break, just like you've fallen on me. I said to Mohit, are you in a bad mind? My attention was on the phone so it fell on you when the brakes hit. Hearing this, Mohit's eyebrow went up. He did the bike in the side and looked at me closely. I leaned back and said to Mohit, what is it? Mohit looked at the side and then looked at me and said, who is that girl? I stammered, which girl? To whom you are talking? I'm not talking to a girl. I was looking at the names of the books. Hearing this, Mohit extended his hand and asked for my phone. I turned on the file in which I wrote the names of the books. I gave the phone to Mohit without any fuss. He checked and returned my phone to me. Even after returning the phone, Mohit was staring at me. He was suspicious, but I didn't want him to cook any kind of Kaili Pulao. We both went inside the Yes Lawn, where the concert was about to take place. It was quite crowded there. Because we got there late. We both stood in the crowd and enjoyed the songs.